thank you all for tuning in to day four of the 31 days of Halloween. Right now I'm doing a really quick face painting. This is a evil witch doctor. And I want to start off with doing a basic skull design. This isn't going to be highly detailed or anything and it doesn't have to be perfect either. So I'm just slapping the white on and giving it a nice little appearance um, in the shape of a skull. That way I don't have to worry about when I go in and fill in the cheekbones or the eyes. There's not too much white that's going to blend in with it. But I just want to uh, give it a basic skull shape. Now I'm going in with a dark brown color. And I'm defining out the cheekbones. Um, you'll notice that this starts to look a little bit more like what you find in um, New Orleans with the voodoo faces and everything. But this is my own design. He won... There was the Witch Doctor design that I decided to do, and so I'm doing it. <laughs> now I'm taking the black, and I'm smearing it into the eyes just to give it a base color right up first, and uh, tuning all this in. And I really should be crediting uh, people with these designs. Uh, this actual design here. That I'm doing was requested by Mandy Buchanan out of uh, Bristol, Virginia. And she's a face painter herself and she wanted to see some designs. I've helped her out in the past with learning. She lived in my area before I moved to Florida. So, you know, she wanted to see some different designs. And now I'm just taking the black with the brush and I'm just, you know, outlining and defining uh, the face, the nose, the eyes. Uh, I'm going to do the mouth next, and it's just going to be a basic uh, skull mouth. It's not going to be anything highly defined like I do with the teeth. But if you're ever in the Bristol, Virginia area and you need a face painter, look up Mandy Buchanan. Uh, soul Case Emulsion Face and body art, I think, is what she calls her company. But, uh, yeah, she's a really great face painter learning. I'm now taking a little bit of black on the sponge, and I'm kind of deepening in the cheekbones right now. And I'm going up above and, you know, just kind of filling in areas and just making them a little bit darker. Now I'm drawing a bone through the nose. <laughs> I thought, you can't be a witch doctor without a bone in the nose. So, here it is. And I started off with a nice uh, light yellow. Uh, mixed in a little bit of white with some yellow just to give it an um, off color. And then I'm going in with a light brown and I'm starting to give it some shadow and some dimension. And that way it pops out more and looks more realistic. Now, with a little bit of watered-down dark gray, I'm creating a shadow underneath it so it makes it look like it's popping out from the face and that it's not just sitting there on the face. And yes, I go around it with a little bit of black. I think I used a little bit of dark brown first just to make it pop out a little bit more. But I think I used a little bit of black and brown to do that. Now we got the appearance of the bone through the nose. Now I'm going into the cheekbones and I'm just adding in some design elements just to make it pop out a little bit more, make it look a little bit uh, more defined, but not really defined. It's just swirls and teardrops that I put in there. 
and you'll see that on the other side a little bit better when the light hits it because this is a metallic copper um, color that I'm using so yes swirls and teardrops do look good on guys too you don't have to worry about alienating them with metallic colors and swirls then I use my finger and I wet it and put it in some black just so that I can put this upside down cross on the forehead because he's an evil witch doctor and those are the things you do to really make it pop and of course you could also do the neck like I did below and just give it an all-over appearance so he had dreads I made him take them down it makes the appearance look a lot better there you go final product thank you for watching everybody make sure you subscribe like comment and share and I'll see you in the next video thank you again for watching bye bye